Well, I found some sycamore. Uh, you can tell by the shaly bark it's peeling off. And also if I find up there is uh, one of those balls tearing a nut. You can tell by the leaf pollination too. I'm trying to find stuff for a bow drill. Let's try. The situation we now is luckily we got alongside is all this poison ivy. So you can see it's uh, shiny, leaves of the reed, let it be. So we're not going to attempt to get this because I don't want to catch poison ivy. So there's another small sycamore over there. So we're going to keep on going. Not very far from where I saw the poison ivy, you have one of the native cures for uh, poison ivy. The itch and everything, that'll be uh, snapdragons. I'm trying to remember the other name off the top of my head, but I cannot remember the life of me right now. So, but, yeah, you'll snap this and uh, take the leaves of the juices and rub across where the rash is initiated. And, uh, that can help take care of the... Uh, a little late in the season, but uh, this is uh, ginseng. I used to pick this when I was a kid. Uh, for money. So. Well, I finally found some black willow. I'm just trying to get to it now so and see what I'm get up against. So... I've seen other stuff a lot sooner, but the thing is... We're doing this because we don't have anything to start a fire with. It's a survival situation. And you don't want to put yourself in the situation you're worse off than what you were when you started. So you don't want to take any unnecessary risk just to maybe get a fire started. So especially I've never done this before. So this Well, I'm out here on some property. A friend of mine gave me permission to uh, do my uh, bushwhacking and camping and bush craft on. And just out here today getting familiar with the, the layout of the land, trying to find water sources and such. A uh, lot of down trees and that, so I'll have plenty of supply of wood to utilize. Uh, there is a small, small stream down below me. It's not even shows on the map, which I can understand because it wouldn't be a reliable water source. Just a trickle, plus uh, the main reason my buddy asked me to come out here and keep an eye on the property for him is you look behind me here is uh, quad trails. It seems that uh, more and more today people are buying four wheelers and they decide that they can just get out and ride anywhere they please and it's uh, destroying the property out here. That's a shame. So he asked me to please uh, advise the people I come across them that they're not to be on the property, uh, especially on the quads, and uh, to leave. But uh, we'll see if I run into the same situation I did from the other property I was using in my other videos where um, too much traffic and it's kind of hard to enjoy yourself in peace and quiet when you got everyone and their brother flying around on their quads and such. So, but uh, that's like this one trail behind me I was showing you earlier uh, a couple hundred yards down they've gone through what was the creek and actually diverted it and turned it into a, just a big mud hole so you never know there could be oil gasoline anything like contaminants in the water source uh, I wouldn't even 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 try to filter it or boil it I wouldn't even mess with it unless it was really really dire straight so but uh, I'm going to continue along the, this trail here and just get a, like I said, a fill of the layout of the land and if I find anything interesting I'll make sure I get I just happened to catch these out of the corner of my eye a couple maybe 30 yards off the trail uh, mushrooms I'm not 100% sure what these are I know to start to expect to see hens in the woods here pretty directly um, I've never gathered them I have gathered morels in the past. Uh, I'm going to take a still photo of these, and I'm going to look them up online. I'm planning on getting a book on wild edibles, like I've said many times before, and including mushrooms and that. Anything you need to sustain yourself is normally available in the wild. So, I'll see if I can get a little bit more of a close-up here. But, uh, for 
any of you out there are familiar with mushrooms, maybe you can add something to the uh, story here. So, right along here, a dead log, which is the common, I believe, is what I've read on uh, Hands of the Woods. So, I thought there was still a photo here, and where's the top of a knoll here. So, all right, I'll. Well, I found a significant water source, this pond here. I know he mentioned there was a pond back here. Now, the question I'm going to have to look into is maybe one of you folks can help me with as well I'll look at line. He does say he does have issues with beavers back here. Now, not really noticing much of a beaver dam anywhere. Uh, he says it tends to overflow the road. He can't get to a gas well. I'm presuming he's speaking to the one that should be directly behind me. But... Uh, I don't know what type of bacteria beaver carry. Now, I would be using my Canadine Hydro Pro for filtering the water, but still, is it going to get all the nasties out of the water and make them where the water is safe? I know if I was still skeptical, I should boil the water or add the uh, aquamere water tablets I have for backup as well. So, But that's something I'm going to have to research. Uh, just filtering alone is going to be adequate enough to prevent myself from uh, getting sick. <laughs> So, oh, about a mile, so we've just been walking around. Uh, I'm going to find a spot here briefly and probably uh, fire up my uh, alcohol stove and have a little bit of lunch. I brought some uh, dehydrated chili I made a while ago and been meaning to stop and enjoy some out in the wild. So, we're going to probably do that here in a little bit. So, I'll make the point to stop and uh, show you. You know, here happens to be one of those little streams I was telling you about. I think this is one of the ones that actually feeds that pond down the, or lake or whatever you want to call it down the stream here. So, I, I filtered out a smaller stream than this. So, if I need to be, I can always hit this as well. So, but trying to find a location to set up a hook wax is kind of odd. Well, this kind of flat in here, but try not to be that close to the water source because of mosquitoes. So. But uh, we're going to be trotting up on top of this ridge here anyhow to head back towards the vehicle. I think I'm going to skip uh, making that uh, chili, like I said. If you've seen these on my videos, I can uh, afford to miss a few meals. I need to lose some weight. That's another good thing about getting out here and doing this is the exercise you gain. So, uh, alrighty. If I see anything else, I'll make sure I I made it on top of this ridge. I just spooked the deer out to my left. I don't see it anymore. Get a picture of it. So I uh, don't know what it was. It's pretty thick over there. But I'm starting to figure out why a lot of people have uh, gone to the hammock camping, uh, trying to find a very level, suitable spot just to put up a tent. It's pretty rough back here. Now I may just end up having to put my tent a little bit further away from the accessible water source than I would want to, but uh, that's still okay with me. I don't mind walking a little bit of ways. I have enough uh, uh, ways of gathering water and containers to put it in. That's not a big deal. I don't use that much through an evening. So, now today I probably do a lot more since it is quite humid. I didn't bring my bladder with me today. I uh, have my uh, one uh, stainless steel container. Uh, 25 ounce here and a 32 ounce uh, power eight ball I'm using them, so but uh, we should be back to the vehicle pretty directly here probably within the next 10 15 minutes and I get back to the house and do another video on uh, my uh, bow drill kit I'm still in the process of trying to make an ember and the good boats at uh, Bushcraft USA I belong to uh, as well they're kind enough to uh, ask me to go ahead and do a video up and they'll try to walk me through where I may be going this stray. Get smoke, but no fire. So, if anyone wants to see me over at Bushcraft USA, I go by PA Woodsman there. So, alrighty. Well, I'm going to keep on moving here and I'll make a 